Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here because Lola wants me to be here. I don't have to do this for a living, you know. I bet on the race today. I bet on Nashua the place. <laughs> Feel good today. Just got back from Miami, ladies and gentlemen. They said, come down to Miami. This time of the year, you get a nice room near Miami Beach for $20 a week. I was living in Savannah, Georgia. <laughs> I love the way that people talk down south. You walk out of a store, they say, hurry back in here. Come back in your hair. They think you're deaf down there. I'm down on the wall of the fellows that way out. I was right there. <laughs> well, I got down to Miami. I stopped at a very swanky hotel. I had to take a shave before they let me go in that barbershop. <laughs> this place was very elegant. They had wall to wall carpeting. On the ceiling? <laughs> they had a Persian rug made out of real Persians. <laughs> The fella dropped a quarter, a bellop saw it, picked it up, gave it back to the fellow, the man gave him a buck tip. <laughs> this is the way to live dangerous, isn't it? Here I am back on television again. I was on television about four weeks ago. I received two offers from plastic surgeon. <laughs> TV has changed the entire picture. I walked into my shoemaker. I said, give me half soles. He says, go away, I'm studying opera. <laughs> I got so many good stories. People have asked me, what are your pet stories? And tonight I'd like to tell a story, in fact, a few stories about two women in the lobby of a hotel and one says to the other one, what do you do to your hair? It looks horrible. It looks like a wig. She says, it is a wig. <laughs> he says, you know you can never tell? <laughs> you hear the story about the kid in Las Vegas? He says to his father, Pop, why can't I go out in the street and play football and baseball like the other kids? And the father says, keep dealing. <laughs> You hear about the traveling salesman on the road, the car breaks down, he goes to the farmhouse, he says, can I stay overnight? My car broke down. Farmer says, sure, you can stay here overnight, we're rather crowded, you'll have to sleep in the same room with my son. So the traveling salesman says, yeah, I'm just being a wrong joke. <laughs> <laughs> I, like the guy, I like the story about the guy who tries to cross the border on a bicycle. He pulls up to the guard, the guard says, what do you got in the bags on your shoulders? He says, sand, he says, get them off, we'll examine it. So the guy takes the bags of sand up, puts it down, they open it up, there's sand in the bags, he puts it back on the shoulders, crosses the border on his bicycle. Two weeks later, the same guy shows up, same bicycle, same bags of sand, take them off, examine them, put them back on the shoulders, he crosses over the border on his bicycle. He does this for six months, finally one of the guards meets him down in the restaurant. He says, look, buddy, you got us crazy, I'm one of the guards on the job, we know you're smuggling something, I won't say anything to anybody, what are you smuggling? The guy says, bicycles. <laughs> just listen to Frankie Lane sing, and I want to tell you this boy is very loud. <laughs> I love that boy, the way he sings, but you don't need a voice nowadays to sing, ladies and gentlemen. Some of the songs are so silly. Uh, you wanted my eye when you knew it. I love some of the songs today. Now, here's a song, that, uh, here's a song that's a big hit today. It's called, uh, uh, I'm Walking Behind You. Don't stop short. <laughs> uh, I was temperamental. My landlord wasn't gentle. <laughs> I couldn't pay the rental. <laughs> so now I sleep in Central. <laughs> My introduction, please, take it away. Concert, concert, please, loud. Hop, hop. Hop, hop. We have a little one like that. It's home slice of eggs. <laughs> a guy crazy, send him a telegram, but on top of the telegram, you put page two. <laughs> All you married men who want to get your wife nervous, when you go to bed tonight, don't talk in your sleep, just grin. <laughs> Here's a riddle for you. What looks like a lox, feels like a box, and flies? A flying lock box. <laughs> I don't mind you people walking out on me, it's when you come towards me. <laughs> A 
flying lox box. <laughs> Tony spelled backwards is ridiculous. <laughs> Mothers and fathers, have your daughter 18 years or older? Have a good talk with her. She'll teach you plenty. 